Okay, so um, today I am making lunch. Um, my family is over, they're helping watch the kids. So I'm actually just gonna make a really quick lunch for everyone. Uh, Matt and I just ate, because whenever they come over, we try to take advantage and go out and um, eat. So this is more for them, but um, it's really, really quick and easy, so I wanted to share it with you. And my mom, actually, she's noticed that I've started to film videos on my personal channel, so she got me this apron, which is so sweet. Literally, it's so sweet. Everybody says, my kitchen, my rules. That's right. I think it's really cute, and it's very um, functional, so. Put this on, let's see how long this takes. So I'm starting at basically, I'm starting at 54, basically 12 p.m. So we'll see how long this takes. I am cooking on the stove. I like to avoid that at all costs for lunch, but today's a little bit more special because they're older, so. Uh, I'm just gonna try my best to make this really quickly. So I am making steak quesadillas, and um, hopefully the kids will eat it. So they'll probably just eat the cheese version of it but we're gonna try. So I'm gonna cook the vegetables in here and I'm gonna cook the steak in here. So these, I tried to thaw a little bit, but um, they're still very, very much so frozen. So I feel like I don't need to put, I don't really need to oil the pan because this is probably have a lot of oil in it already. This is a lot, so honestly, we're probably gonna eat some leftovers for dinner. Actually, that'll be really helpful because we already ate lunch. Actually, it's so perfect because there's a lot. Usually, I would just, I remember I made this last time, there was definitely half left over, so half of it will be for family. And Matt and I can eat the rest later tonight. Actually, we're still perfectly. So, we'll do that. So, I'm just gonna let that in there, sit in there. And then this side, I'm gonna put oil in there. And then I have to cut the peppers. Oh, I'm gonna put some onions in it too, because that'll be really good. So, normally for quesadillas, I feel like I would like the green peppers, but we don't have any, so what do you do? So I'm gonna get that. I think I'll just do all of that, because we're, we are gonna go shopping today anyways. And um, there's only three. This, I'll cut these first. Ooh, I'm gonna use this one. I don't like knives that don't have, okay. I lost my beloved Cutco knife. If you all know anything about Cutco, I mentioned it in one of our old videos. Um, I, I don't know if you guys even know the word Cutco. It's basically the brand of a knife. And I used to like, people call it like a pyramid scheme type of thing. I used to work for them. Um, when I was literally in like middle school, basic, no, high school, I think actually, you would like go over people's houses, you start off with people you know, you sell, you try to sell them these knives, these kitchen cutlery, and they're actually really, really, really good knives. Like, so like, it's not like it's a scheme. It's not like it's a scam in terms of the product. The product is actually really, really nice, but um, it's just a little bit shady. You know, they have all these incentives for you to sell um, a certain amount. But it was really cool. The base pay, I remember, I, this was in high school, when I was, like before, when I was in high school, so before 2011. Um, oh, that's already sizzling. The base pay was like $17.50 an hour. I remember that really well. I don't like these. This knife. I'm going to just use a smaller one. Um, and that was a really good base pay, but they, what they wanted you to do was make a commission off of the um, knives that you sold because the knives, like the cheapest one was like, 30 bucks for like this really, really small single knife. And then the biggest thing that they wanted was for you to sell cutlery sets. And so um, I did it. I like remember I was so wanting to like sell the most knives I could. Which is so silly to think about. And I, I was like one of the top sellers for the first two weeks. <laughs> I sold over like $800 worth of knives or whatever, and I got a nice paycheck. They actually did pay me. I just remember some people saying it was a scam because they never paid, but like, I definitely got paid. But anyways, long story short, we had this one knife that we got from them, and I held on to it for years, and then I lost it. I'm so sad about it, but it basically had like grooves in it and everything to make it easier to cut, kind of like this knife, where it's like, you know, it's not just like a sharp edge. 
and I feel like it's so much easier to cut. Like I literally, I only cut with this because I lost my other one and that other one is too big. So, um, anyways. Yeah, I feel like I really didn't need oil for this and it's very liquidy anyway, so. Yep, that's my story about the knives. Yeah. I remember people saying it was like a cheese knife or something. I, I don't know my knives well, even though I should. I knew them back when I sold Cutco knives, but that always makes fun of me with Cutco. But if you know, it's like one of those things where it's like, if you know, you know. Comment down below if you used to sell Cutco knives or if you know it. But yeah, that one knife that we had, I lost it and I think I lost it. Like, how do you really lose a knife? I think I lost it because it was like... Sometimes I'll like cut, um, throw away the food that's on the carving board. But I think the knife was on it and it somehow got tossed in the trash. So I think it was thrown away. But, um, what was I gonna say? That knife I looked up on Amazon, which is see, because you can only buy it in person at the time. But yeah, obviously, it's time to change. I probably saw it online. But I found it on Amazon. It, if I, I'll, I'll insert a picture if I can find it again. I believe it was like 80 bucks, anywhere from 80 to 100 or something like that. But guys, it is so worth it. I actually told Matt a long time ago before we were doing Christmas gifts because that was the next holiday. I was like, I want that knife for Christmas. And actually, I think to my started, he said he was looking for it. Or he like thought about it, but we like really went low on Christmas this year with each other. So that was way out of budget for us. But if you ever need a good knife, I'm telling you, even their small ones, I lost that one too. Do not come at me. I think, again, I'm a very careless person sometimes. I think it was on the cutting board, and I just threw it away. This knife I remember getting when I moved out when I was in college on my own. I was like, let me get some of these cute knives. And, I mean, they're okay. Not amazing. I probably got them from, like, Walmart or something. Um, yeah. This meat is from Aldi, of course. And it, on the front of it, it says, great for ta terrific for tacos. So I used to use like the chunkier meat that was like called stew meat or something, but I had to end up like cutting it because they were so thick. So this is much better meat already, I can tell, for tacos. But I'm not doing tacos. Today is Monday. Normally I do tacos for Taco Tuesday, but these don't count because these are quesadillas. And yes, I am cooking meat. So like I said, we're not completely vegan. Just try to do more vegan meals, eat less meat. But like honestly, so... I had bought all these groceries. I bought so much meat. And then we watched that um, Netflix documentary called You Are What You Eat. And then just made me not want to eat any of the meat. But I didn't have the heart to throw it away. So I just put everything in the freezer. So it's literally been in the, fr been in the freezer for two weeks when normally we would have eaten all of that by now. And so my family's over and I'm like, well, I'm going to save them a hefty meal. So let's just use the meat for that. I never ended up. Using. So it kind of worked out, you know? Let's turn this on. Okay, so I'm gonna let that cook a little bit. I'm gonna go get the onions. Let's hope I do not cry. I've heard of like um, some things that help you not cry when you cut onions. I don't remember what it was. Was it like a candle? Maybe like lighting a candle, but like I do not have time for that. Don't want to do that. Onions will definitely like make this one ton better. Ah. Woo! Close one. See, these would cut so much better if I had those little spiky knives. Well, you can tell I don't really. Cooking is not my original thing. You know, I never really liked cooks growing up and I never really enjoyed it, but I think now that I'm doing it so much, I'm kind of enjoying it, kind of. I kind of realized about myself that as a mom, I'm enjoying like certain things more. Like I would have never described myself to enjoy like cleaning ever, but I kind of like love it in a sense. Like I think when I first had Jerry, like, you know what nesting is, is when you just go crazy with cleaning, when you get the house pretty and everything. Um, I think ever since then, I've discovered this love for, like, cleaning, organizing, and everything. I'm not good at it, but I love 
to organize sometimes, and I want to be better at it. And a lot, I, I see so many comments, usually on our Slice Ranch channel, like, y'all need to get a maid, or y'all need to get a professional organizer, but I just can't justify, like, paying all that money for that when I know I can do it. But I really agree that I need some sort of, like, organizing, okay, my eyes are trying to hurt a little bit, like, things, like, for the spice rack, um, it's so unorganized in there, I, I spend at least a minute, which doesn't sound like a lot, but like trying to just find garlic seasoning, I'll be like spinning that thing over and over, when I know a lot of people have drawers where like everything's labeled nicely and the same type of thing, like I wish I could do that, I just feel like I don't have the, um, I don't want to say patience, but like that's just not on my list of priorities. So, I would love to do that, my eyes are starting to hurt now. But, um, yeah, I just would love to have, like, and then also we have a lot of, like, I don't know if you see these plasticky, the ones that are, like, literally a dollar and 92 cents from Walmart. Don't love it. I've seen, like, bamboo organizers and stuff. I follow a lot of people on Instagram that I love watching their organization videos, like, when they're, like, restocking their fridge, deep cleaning something. But, like, I just, I don't watch it and then walk away and then do it. I just love watching it. But, like, I would love to implement this. Actually, um, one Instagram account that I really love, I'll put right here. I love watching her Instagram. It's so satisfying, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, like, she is such a, it's just like one of the satisfying accounts to watch. Um, and I, I don't know, I just like, I just want to make videos that I like to watch. So like, obviously I like watching other people cook, especially when I get ideas from them. So that's just what I'm hoping that you guys get when you watch this is just like ideas or it's like comfort or FaceTiming. And I'm doing this every day, so I'm like, might as well just put the camera up and film. I just feel like that's like best of both worlds. It's a win-win for everyone. Okay, so I'm gonna wait for all this pink to go away. It's on the highest setting, so. And let me start getting my... So we originally got this pan for a slice size video when I did the, um, it was like a Korean charcuterie board, like we made one up. But I actually use this so much. I use this to make French toast, quesadillas, grilled cheese, anything that like doesn't need the rim, like anything flat. So I'm making quesadillas today, so it's like perfect for that. So I love when like the onions and the peppers become really soft and really, really cooked. So I'm gonna keep these in here for a minute. And yes, I'm gonna use real mozzarella cheese because before I watched Netflix video <laughs> documentary, who knows if this is gonna be a phase, but I just, we had so much cheese. This is like, we have an unopened bag of mozzarella cheese too. So I'm trying to go through all this because I don't want to waste food. Um, but we have the vegan cheese that Matt and I will usually eat these days. Um, Cause I'm pretty sure, I don't know how you identify if you're like 100% lactose intolerant, but I'm pretty sure Matt and I are both lactose intolerant. I, mean, I get a little gassy and gotta go to the bathroom more. But we still try to stay away from like dairy products as much as possible. You'll never catch us getting whole milk, ever. Um, and like I said, we don't really order with cheese on our burgers or stuff like that. I think I mentioned this in another video, but basically in that documentary, they were talking about how the number one thing that most people, the reason why people can't switch to a vegan diet is because they cannot give up cheese. So <laughs> that's not that big of an issue for Matt and I. We're, I mean, I, don't get me wrong, like. I like cheese, I mean I do like it, I do like a nice cheese board, but I don't need it. I definitely don't need it, especially if there's nice substitutes out there, I don't need it. Okay, so that's starting off good, let me try this down a little bit. So it's already smelling really good in here. Okay, so let me show you what toppings I do for this. Okay, so in the past I just always used, I love adobo for like things like this. Like when I cook steaks and stuff like that. So I'm not gonna put too much. Just kind of put it on there. Because in the past I would have just done adobo because I know nothing about seasoning and flavor. I'm like starting to learn more as I'm learning on this little cooking journey. But recently I saw some um, ingredients or I don't remember where I saw it. It had to be Pinterest or small anything before I do it. This is um, honey barbecue sauce by Gingella with the organic kind. And I just also am putting barbecue sauce and worse. Let me try to say it the right way. Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. I'm definitely not saying that right. 
This kind of smells like, it smells really good. It's kind of like, it's not sour, but like pickly. A pickly barbecue sauce or something. Or A1 sauce, something like that. But yeah, I've done this before, and look, I don't even have to cut it. Like the other meat that I did in one of those slice knife videos, like I had, I spent so much time cutting the meat, but this is already fully cut and good. Woo -hoo -hoo. Okay, started at like 10:55. Now it's 12:11. Not too bad, cause I'm almost done. I'm really almost done. Turn this down a little bit. Let me try one. I feel like you have to try it. Mmm. That's really good. Oh my gosh, that's really good. That's really good. I'm not even hungry. But you know how you can like try your food? And that's legitimately perfect. Mmm. Wow. Okay. So now I'm gonna move that to the side. I'm gonna put this here and make the quesadillas. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. So I always do the butter thing. See that? It's already melting because it's so hot. And sometimes I'll, I'll do it, I mean, normally I would do it with the bigger tortillas, but I'm just gonna do it with the small ones because I just feel like they're easier to eat and stuff. So. And I have so many of these. So, cheese on first. Move this cheese up. I think I can probably turn this off. These are clearly different sizes. So for the kids, I got I don't think I really want this meat. Would love if they were open to trying it. But chances are they won't, so I'm gonna try and make them cheese quesadillas. Because I feel like I like that. So this is like perfect. I love how they turn out. My family loves veggies and stuff, so I'm gonna make sure I put a good amount on each one. Oh wait, that's not the same size. I need to get a different size. This one is a little bit better. Oh my gosh, I'm making a mess. Got this bad boy right here. Oh, struggling right now. Oh my gosh, this is on three. That's why it's not even like crisping up. Okay, these two are similar ish in size. So I'm just, I just wish this was a little bit bigger. person I'm kind of like messy actually okay that kind of reminds me I'm, i've been i discovered this one girl on my instagram i don't remember her name i'm gonna insert it here she does a lot of like cleaning she'll say like lazy mom cleaning the kitchen and she'll like clean it so good and it like starts off really bad right now she's like cleaning someone else's house for free that it was like and they were hoarding all this stuff they're going through a lot of difficulties so she's helping them out and um why did I bring her up? Oh yeah, I just love her content because she's like super real about, like she's not like proper, like she'll like, <laughs> grease will fly other places and she'll just like show everything and just think it's adorable. So that's kind of me when I cook, I'm not really the most proper. I'm always like spilling things, falling, things are falling out of place. I'll turn this off. So I think I want to make, mm, I don't know how many I want to make. 
No idea. I think honestly two is fine, but maybe I'll make three. It's not getting crispy yet. You kind of get impatient. So while this is like crisping up, I'm going to throw this away. But see, normally I'll like gather everything and I'll like scoop it off and I really think I, my knife was on here once. Let's see. Yeah. That is what I'm talking about. This one should definitely look good. Oh, ho, ho. I don't know if you guys can see it. Okay. Bam. Looks amazing. I'm gonna cut these and I'll let them pull off a little bit. So now I can definitely turn it down because it's at 11. And now the ones for the kids. I don't want to make those too crispy because they just wouldn't like that. Kids love cheese. Right now they're really into that string cheese. And I'm just curious if like that could be made like vegan. Because I know they, <laughs> I, mean, I guess if you can make fake mozzarella, you can make fake string cheese. I don't see why not. That's way too much. I might just like cut these parts off. Dang it. Ugh, it's too crispy. But let me go ahead and cut this. And I'm gonna put lids on this for if they want more. Okay, so here are the toppings. I'm just gonna put them out. I've got jalapeno, salsa, guac, and Greek yogurt, non-fat Greek yogurt, which y'all know I use as my sour cream. All right, so let me show you what I made. 12.27, it basically took me 30 minutes, but. So yeah, this is it. I'm not gonna eat it, but I did eat the meat, it was really good. And yeah, I think I'll eat it. All right, thanks for watching, and I hope this inspired you to make something that's relatively quick and easy. Oh yeah, can't forget the hot sauce. But yeah, please comment down below some of your recipes and if you like this. All right.